What's amazing is that you can always tell that you're actually operating under the power of the Holy Spirit because the more and more you grow and are used by God, the result is not pride, the result is humility. How many know that power is incredible, but power is really dangerous without humility? Watch, watch the Apostle Paul, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. What, what takes place here is really amazing because the letter we're reading tonight is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. But Paul wrote an earlier letter, it's 1 Corinthians, and it's one of the first letters that he wrote. And watch what he says, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9. I want you to see the path of self-awareness of this guy named Paul. For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle. Watch this. Because I persecuted the church of God. So what's he doing? He's outing himself. Hey, just so you know, here comes my letter. I want you to know that I'm the least of the apostles. And it, it's no doubt humble, but if you know the context, you would understand that there's only like 12 apostles. So yes, it's humble, but he's like, yo, I'm the least of all the guys that hung out with Jesus. So just so you know, that's, that's who I am. I'm the guy who wasn't there, you know, exactly, you know, on earth. I, I, I met him later, so I'm the least. But five years later, he writes a letter to the church in Ephesus, Ephesians chapter three, verse eight. And he says, although I'm less than the least of all the Lord's people, this grace was given me. Five years of being used by God, five years of being empowered by the Holy Spirit, five years of planting churches, five years of going on missionary journeys, five years of his name becoming more and more famous. Now he's like, hey, I just wanna let you know, um, I'm not just the least of the apostles. I am the least of all Christians. Before me, Right now, after me, I'm, I'm the least. But it gets better. Towards the end of his life, when he's writing to his young apprentice, his disciple, Timothy. Timothy, you can only imagine how much he admired him, how much he wanted to be like him, how much he looked up to him. Look at what he says to Timothy. First Timothy chapter one, verse 15. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. Are you seeing this tonight? It's like the more and more he was empowered by the Holy Spirit, the more and more he walked in the grace of God, the result was not pride, the result was humility. He started saying, I'm the least of the apostles. He then moved to, I'm the least of the Christians. But hey, you know what? Towards the end of my life, I just gotta be honest with you, I am the least of all sinners. Meaning the closer I get to God, the more I realize just how far away I was to begin with. And I'm just glad to be here. I'm just glad I made it. I'm just happy to be in the room. I'm the least of all sinners. I'm the least of all sinners. What's the principle? Whatever doesn't turn into praise turns into pride. 